Scoop It is becoming one of my all-time favorite web tools for curating content and it's really like no other content curation platform that I've ever used before. One of the biggest things that I love about it is it has a web platform like you see here on your screen. It also has an app for your mobile devices and it has a Chrome extension for your Chrome browser as well. So in order to understand Scoop It, you have to know three different vocabulary terms. Um, Scoop It is made up of users, just like you and I. Those users create topic boards, and then on those topic boards, they store scoops. And anything that you see here, all of these different articles are considered scoops. So this article on drinking too much coffee about a new app, this is considered a scoop. Now, that scoop is stored on a topic board called iPads and Education by the user John Evans. So once you know those three terms, it's really easy to understand Scoop It. So we're gonna dive into it a little bit. Now, first things first, you can create a free account within Scoop It. Um, for free, they will let you to create two topic boards that let you connect two social accounts. Um, and really there's no limit on how many things you can follow and how many things you can scoop. If you want to do more topic boards than that, then um, you can always upgrade and you can look at those options by clicking on the upgrade button at the top of any of your screen. So in order to create um, a topic, you're going to click on your icon once you're logged in and you're going to see the topics that you've created here down at the bottom. So to create a new topic, you'll just click on create a topic You'll give it a name, it'll ask for the category. Um, I've reached my limit when I first signed up. It allowed three topics for free, so it's not gonna let me show you how to create a topic without deleting one of my other ones. But it's very, very simple to do. So that's how you create a topic. Scoop It makes it very easy for you to browse for content, and they'll put a search box up here at the top. Once you put in a keyword, it's gonna search for scoops, topics, and users all at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and put in EdTech and see what it pulls up. And it'll show you three different tabs. It's found over 39,000 scoops relating to EdTech, 379 topics, 444 users. So you can scroll back and forth through those tabs to find the information that you're wanting, follow particular boards or whatever. Now following a topic board is very easy and all of these here are topic boards pertaining to my keyword EdTech. So once you find a topic board that you like, there's a couple of ways to follow it. When you hover over it, you're going to see this follow link down here at the bottom. You can click on that and it will follow it. Or if you happen to have the topic pulled up on your screen, such as this, you'll see the follow button is up here on the top left. So you'll click on follow to follow it and it's going to automatically add it to your follow list. Now that means any time that they add to their topic from here on out, any thing that they scoop, it's going to automatically put it in here in your content curation board, your streaming board. And um, you can also click on the usernames. And from there, you can look at what social media he has connected with. And um, you can see the curated topics that he has created. You can also look to see what he's followed, scoops he's followed. You can see a lot of different things about users there as well. So now that we've talked about users and topics and creating your own boards and following boards, we're going to talk about scoops. If you find an article that you think that's really awesome, I want to scoop it and put it on one of the boards that I have created myself, there's a couple different ways that you can do that. When you hover it over it, you'll see this scoop it button. You can click on that and it's going to bring it up. It's going to ask you which curated topic do you want to add that scoop to. Um, you can give some more text to it. You can share it within social media. You can look at some advanced options. You can schedule it and you can also tag it if you want as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on publish on that. So that's the first way that you can scoop topics onto your board. Another way that you can scoop them is if you pull it up to see kind of what information it is and you go through here and look at it. If you have the Chrome extension installed on your toolbar, you can click on scoop it up here at the top. It again is going to ask you which one you want to add it to. 
it's going to give you the option to add some text to the bottom and give you the same publishing options that you saw before. So that's two ways um, for you to do scoop topics to your board. Now the last thing I want to talk to you about is sharing items. Scoop it is really great on um, working with different platforms, giving you a way to share an article that maybe you don't want to scoop it to your board, but you want to share it with your Twitter followers or possibly email it. To do that, you're going to click on this arrow at the bottom right of any scoop it, um, and there it's going to ask you. You can share it with Google+, pin it, share it with your social media. You can email it, and um, it's going to give you the URL, and you also can get the embedding code if you happen to want to embed it to your blog or to your website or whatever. So that's really the ins and outs of Scoop It. Very, very easy to use. Um, your content will sync within your web browser and across all of your mobile devices. Um, it's just an amazing way for you to learn new content.